Okay, take three, starting now. All take right. Take four. If, <laughs> would you shut the f up? <laughs> take five, go. Hey guys, welcome back to BASE. My name's FTA Reaper. I'm here with FTA Plan Bs, and we're, today we're going to be doing a review of Battlefield 1 and all its DLC that's been released to date. So with Whoa. that in mind, Bs, let me just say, uh, you know, we, we put a lot of time into this game, so what were your a impressions lot. with it compared to some other Battlefields? Um... All right, this was the saving grace to the Battlefield franchise. Let me just start it right there. I don't know what they were thinking with Hardline when they released that. That game was just a pile of you-know-what. So I'll just leave it at that. This game is definitely worth the pickup, no matter if you're playing it right now or if you were playing it last year. I'll agree with that. Uh, Hardline, I'm, I'm going to give them a pass because they used a new developer for it. Kind of, uh, it, it was a Battlefield game, but not really. So I'll give them a pass. I think they kind of like learn from their mistakes because I haven't heard anything about them doing another one like that. So, uh, like I said, I give them a pass. And I felt Battlefield 4 was really good. I think the biggest thing I like about this game is it just kind of changed everything up. You know, you went from a uh, genre in Battlefield 4 that was modern combat where... You know, most of your guns have 30 rounds, and they all have, you know, they're all machine guns and everything like that. They all have full auto to a game like this where a lot of stuff is single fire, a lot of stuff is bolt action. You know, there are still some machine guns, but it's just, it feels a lot, there's a lot more variety of guns and everything and different tactics to actually play. And I think they did a good job of blending them together where they work well. Yeah, they did. They definitely did. Some a lot of the sights on the guns are trash, but hey, I mean, this is uh, World War One we're talking about here. They didn't have jack crap for any of that stuff. I know they're a little unrealistic with the sniper rifles, but I mean, they had to do something. So, agreed. At the end of the day, it is still a game, so they had to throw a little bit of historical accuracy out to make it entertaining. Otherwise, everyone would just be running around with bolt action rifles like they were back then, but. If, all in all, I'd say gameplay-wise, it's pretty good. What do you think about the maps? Uh, the original maps, to me, are still the best over any of the premium pass maps. Um, I don't know what it is about just video games in general, or if it's just how many times you play the original maps, but they always feel better than the DLC. I don't know what it is. What about you? No, I liked a few of them. Uh, I felt like... There were some good and some bad maps in the DLC. Some of them were downright unplayable, I felt, that, you know, everyone just kind of rolls their eyes. They always seem to include one map that's always really flat, really wide open, really easy to get killed on. Um, but beyond that, I felt like there were probably five or six really good maps that I felt like could fit in with a rotation with the uh, the originals. I liked it so far, uh, and I'm kind of excited to see what they do for the for the next two packs that they've got coming out. Yeah, fair enough. So we have seven different game modes on Battlefield 1. Conquest, Domination, Frontlines, Rush, Supply Drop, TDM, or Team Deathmatch, and War Pigeons. I personally like Conquest the most and followed up right by Team Deathmatch. It's always good. Reaps, how about you? Oh, I'm a Conquest all the way, man. You get all the vehicles and everything. Uh, you know, you get the big 64-player battles and everything like that. Um... I like it better than Rush simply because it's a lot less campy. Rush, and I'm sure you, if you're not familiar with it, you have two teams, one attacking, one defending, and the attacking team basically has to just run at the defenders, constantly getting slaughtered to try to take out two objectives, and then the map progresses forward. So Conquest is by far the most balanced. It has all the vehicles, and really it's what makes Battlefield Battlefield, just the big fights. Uh, you know, the crazy set pieces and the kind of oh, yeah. gameplay that other games can't really uh, can't really supply. I mean, you just have so many random moments just the size of these maps that you don't <laughs> get on other games like Call of Duty that's much more scripted. Could you imagine Call of Duty 64 player battle with jetpacks? No, I couldn't. It would just be <laughs> you wouldn't know who to shoot. Everyone would be on the same team or I don't know. It would, it would be ridiculous. Definitely, man. So if you had to rate this game out of 10, what do you give it? I'm going to give it a 9.
And I am a bit of a Battlefield mm. homer. I like Battlefield a lot, but I feel like the gameplay is as smooth as it's ever been. The hit markers are as good as they've ever been. The entire map is destructible. You know, it really fits the era well, and it changed up a lot of, like, your typical shooter tropes of, you know, you just, everyone's got machine guns, everything's very samey. It really did throw a curveball and did it in such a good, good way. You know, they took a risk, but that risk, I really feel, paid, paid off. The biggest yeah. negative I have towards it is the DLC time. I don't mm -hmm. like that this this game is going to have two years worth of a release window for its DLC. When you pay fifty dollars and you have to wait two full years to get all the maps and everything, I, that's too much for me. I get that they only come out in two year cycles, but to me, it's too easy for people to lose interest in the game and go somewhere else in that two year span than it would if it was just one. Yeah, I, I kind of get what you're saying there. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10 for me personally. I did like it a lot. Definitely is one of the best shooters to come out in the last couple of years. But I, I'm i going to have to disagree for disagree with you a little bit there, man. I think the two-year cycles for Battlefield is what makes Battlefield Battlefield. I mean, they're not cranking out hot garbage like Call of Duty every year. They're trying to take their time. I I, I do agree with the whole DLC thing taking two years, that that is a little excessive. They should probably give you a little more uh, for what you pay for. But I, I do like the two-year cycles. I'm, I'm going to agree with them on that for sure. One thing, will, one thing I will say is even with the two years, it definitely comes out very polished. You know, I can't complain about that. They, for two years worth of development time it definitely comes out looking good and feeling good and most of the time things after they have that first launch uh bug or whatever they they, they take care of it comes out pretty solid so the holidays are coming up this game's going to be a pretty cheap pickup what advice do you give to um either a gamer who's going to be picking this up and playing this game for the first time or a parent that's going to be buying it for their kid what would you tell them to do first while playing this game, starting off? Grab two or three of your buddies, uh, five if you can, because you have that big of a squad, but grab two or three of your buddies, jump into Conquest, and work as a team, because really, it's not too difficult to uh, understand as a game, as long as you have teammates that listen and you know you can learn together. You can become pretty effective pretty quick, as long as you work as a squad. Well, there you have it, folks. Wise words by a wise Battlefield man. All right, if you like what you see, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. And let us know down in the comments what you want to see us review, uh, whether it's tech, games, or anything in between. And for Fireteam Base, I'm FTA Reaper. Bees out, slagga. Keep reaping, guys.